All right, sorry guys that I look like I've slept into the seventh circle of hell, um, but I'm not gonna do any makeup today. I just want my face to kind of have a day off and it just feels so good. Walmart haul, I know a lot of you are actually have been waiting for this video. So no further introduction, let me show you guys what I got. All right, so I've been watching several Walmart haul videos. I love those and I know they've been putting out some new stuff. And the two thing, or not the two things, but I saw someone post that these shorts were out and I had to find them. So I'm really glad that I did. There are a five inch inseam with a liner. So there is a liner on the inside there. So I got a black set. This is a medium eight to 10. Um, yeah, there, there's a liner. Is there a pocket? Yeah, there's, Ooh, that's nice. I love that. There's a pocket. So I definitely need more shorts for when I go jogging. I have a lot of leggings and things like that, but not that many shorts. And I really like this length too. I have obviously not tried them on yet, but I also want to show you guys this up close detail at the bottom. I really like that too. I think that's really pretty. And there's that on the side. All the little details really matters to me. Something about workout clothes and just pairing something cute together with the shorts and the sports bra and the, the workout top, it just makes me want to work out more. It just, it does help for me. And then I got this bright, gorgeous pink. Sorry that the, there we go. This is the color. I do have my lighting on because it is overcast, so from this point, it's looking a little a little neon, which this color is beautiful too. And honestly, it's actually pretty close, looking at it back and forth. But I love this pink color. It has the same exact details as the black and same size. These were $9.96. What? And also, if you're not a fan of the lining, you can just cut those out. So I picked those up for summertime running. And then, if you guys don't follow me on my Instagram, I, excuse me, I was posting um, items that I've been finding off of Amazon because I've been thinking about my summer style and things like that. Not that I change up my style all that often, but I'm getting more into thinking ahead. So this summer, I really want to um, continue like my normal basic relaxed style fits. Uh, it's just worked out very well for me. And I want to do a lot of graphic t-shirts. So I popped over to the men's section. So that's a tip or a hack or like whatever you want to call it. Definitely check out the men's section because they have a ton of stuff. And I picked up this black one. This has ACDC back in black. And this is a large and then if i wanted to wear it with like jean shorts tuck it in the front kind of thing or jeans i probably just size one up so i'm t technically a medium but i went up um, because i thought i would mostly wear this with like jean shorts and i thought that would be really cute and then here is this one that actually came from walmart.com i ordered this before i found it on amazon so but this is also available on amazon by the way and it's this one i love this it just it's very 80s to me in a way and maybe it's because i'm seeing like a touch of lisa frank <laughs> i have to say but this is def leopard so same concept here you know i could wear it with jeans tuck it in and especially with enough material depending on what size you need to get you know you could do like a knot or however you want to style it that would be cute too um i'll probably mostly tuck like the front end into my waistline but I love this top but like I said it's available on Amazon um, you probably get it faster if you're a prime member it did take a little bit to get this from Walmart I found this cardigan it's by this new brand called free assembly that I think is just new to Walmart they have a lot of cute stuff but this one was so pretty it was $28 and I just also envision this being something that I could wear over a graphic tee with jean shorts. I also like that it has that knit quality. So, you know, air is still going to flow through this pretty well because of all the like gaps and holes in there. But I think they do have this in other colors too. Uh, but also this is going to be great when fall comes around too. And then obviously winter. So 
I really love this find. I'm most excited about that one. And then I picked up some of these tanks that are about $2. And this is also part of the style that I've been thinking about. You can see I love just wearing plain um, basic tops. So I definitely thought about how I wanted to style myself for this summer. And another thing that I want to do aside from the graphic tees is to do these little tanks like this. And then I can wear stuff like this over it as well. And I can add all of my gold jewelry and I can keep this open so it'll look really nice, keep me cool at the same time, but also kind of warm when I'm indoors. And I can also throw on a kimono over this. I just recently ordered one from Amazon. I showed it in my vlog when I got it in. Actually, I don't think my vlog has seen it yet. But that's another style that I want to do. It's like basic little tops, a kimono, and then jean shorts and the sandals. I think that would be... Uh, really nice too. So these are brand new and you can see they have this like ribbed look it Has some stretch to it. I went with a large just in case and I also got it in white, but they come in a ton of colors uh, They had lilac and blues and pinks and navies I'm probably gonna go back and get some more they had a rust colored one Which I don't know why I didn't pick that one up, but I've also been in the market to find a brown tank top just brown so i haven't found that particular shade in in this style from walmart yet so there's that now i'm going to show you guys some shoes walmart shoes just if you don't know about this they are so good and also walmart.com has a lot more than what you could possibly find in your stores but i did luck out and find these like espadrille quilted style sandals. I'm not sure if they came in any other color. I got a size eight, but I really love the black. And I thought these would be great too with the whole concept of both, whether I'm wearing a little tank with a kimono or I'm going for, you know, a graphic tee, just kind of, you know, give it that feminine little girly touch. These were $14 by the way. Hopefully I'm reminding, I'm remembering to tell you guys all the prices. And then here are these. Now, I this is two different Walmart trips, but the same store. The first time that I went to Walmart, um, I saw these shoes, but they didn't have them in my size. And I was so, oh, I was so gutted. And then I went back on this second trip and they, I guess they had restocked and I found them in my size. And they are these memory foam, espadrille like slip-ons and they have that cap toe detail you guys this is such a gorgeous summer shoe the the neutralness of this is so beautiful will pair with so many different outfits that i'm gonna be um, putting together so i love how this is gonna just you know flow really well with my style I wish I could, you guys could reach out and just touch this, but it's just buttery soft. And then, okay, let's move on. To, oh, one more apparel item. No one, absolutely no one is going to be surprised by this, but I could not walk out of there without this hat. There's just no way. All the little details about this just is me to a T. I love the heathered, like, gray to it it has that athletic or i guess maybe like varsity look i guess you could say i really really love this and then they did a tx so the abbreviation that's just so cute i've never seen a texas hat like this or just any hat with the abbreviation like this um, from a state perspective you know not like nfl or nba or um mlb kind of thing but I love this detail, you guys. Like, look how amazing that is. And then it says Texas right here. And then there's even the uh, state right there. One of my favorite things to get at Walmart, which has been so hard to find lately, I feel like it's either flying off the shelves or they're not stocking it enough, or I don't know what it is, but it's Tree Hut and it's like the body scrubs. 
I love tree huts so much. I'm gonna have to go to Ulta because they carry that there too. And I know Ulta actually carries a lot more scents than Walmart does, but every time I go to Walmart, I always have to look in the tree hut section. And like I just said, lately there just hasn't been anything. But another thing that I love picking up at Walmart is the Dr. Teal's body lotion. I have the coconut and then the citrus and then these are the two new ones that I've picked up. So I went ahead and got lavender. The price is pretty good. I think these were about $4 and then I found oat milk and argan oil. I love this stuff, you guys. It's just so good. I don't normally use lavender because it's a floral scent and I'm not into floral notes like that, but I do like lavender because it has that calming quality to it. So I thought this could be like a nighttime body lotion that I could put on. So there's that, both of them say the same thing. But this oatmeal and argan oil, oatmeal? Did I just say oatmeal? Oat milk and argan oil. This one smells really good. And brand new, I just saw these at Walmart and they're new candles, the packaging is really interesting. But what really blew my mind about them was the smell. Like, I let me just show you these just so you can see. Super cute mason jar look. Just that has that country charm to it. This one says Southern Comfort. You can see the wax colors are different. But what blew me away was the smell. I have to say that as many candles as I buy and smell and burn, these by far surpri has surprised me the most because it just, it smells identical to what they're saying it's supposed to smell like. Like it just, this says that it's buttered maple syrup and it doesn't, it, it's like there should be syrup in here instead of wax. Like I, I don't know how else to describe this, but the scent is just crazy now how is it going to throw once i light this is it going to smell as great as it does in the jar um when it's not lit is it going how much space throw you know is it going to cover i don't know i've never tried these candles but straight up just smelling this from the jar will blow your mind stop at a walmart and see this one is tropical paradise and what i really loved about this one if it would focus this one I picked up because, oh my god, I, I honestly can't describe this. It smells like coconut, sunblock, and then something sweet, but it all smells like a tropical paradise. And then we have Southern Comfort. They had a ton of other options too. I mean, at least eight more, maybe even more than that to choose from. Southern Comfort is really interesting because this one can obviously be interpreted differently, you know, but I mean, the picture is a swing, outdoors, uh, I really, I'm kind of at a loss for words, I don't know how to describe this scent to be honest. Those are amazing new candles, then I picked up some chocolates for myself. I went down the Easter aisle section trying to look at all their decor. I really loved it, but my style is like orange and green, and so I really wasn't finding very much at my store, but I found these chocolate eggs, and I'm going to eat all of these in one sitting. So that's my pathetic little life. I picked up baking soda. Now, there's really nothing overly special about baking soda but what's crazy is you can use it for so many things cleaning your mattress uh, sprinkling it on your carpets i sprinkle this on like loxy's bed let it air out let it sit for a minute then i'll vacuum it up uh, you also can use it to to bake with and then you can put it like in your fridge and it can like it absorbs you know all the the bad smells and things like that but i actually picked up this box right here because i read that if you put in a little baking soda with your laundry that it can reduce the uh, static electricity. Uh, I've just, 
I think it's just because it's winter time, the air is super dry, but I've been shocking myself everywhere I go. And then another cleaning product, I got this garbage disposal. I really need to do a way better job of taking care of my appliances and getting them washed on a monthly basis like adding like the vinegar to the dishwasher and the same thing to the washer and dryer i was just talking about this with um with you guys on an instagram live and this is a disposal cleaner which i've done these before but i ran out and i don't think i've done this since i moved into this house which isn't good because i've been here a year so i'm just trying to make sure that you know i'm taking care of all all the things and the last couple of things are makeup items i'm still on the same exact mascara but i need to get get onto youtube and see what the beauty community is saying about drugstore mascara and see what like the new rages because i'm kind of getting over this stuff it's really good but what i'm finding with this lash paradise is that it just I don't know. I don't think they put very much in these tubes to begin with. I feel like I'm going through mascara so fast with this one and it also dries out super quick even though like I'm tightening the the cap back on really tight. But something about this Lash Paradise, it just clumps up and there's really not much product, I don't think. You know, and it's kind of snaky cuz you can't see in there. So you you really don't know, you know. I guess what they're kind of putting in there but um but anyways I, I just need to get on youtube see what what the new mascaras are that everybody's talking about but comment down below and drop me your your current mascara and, and all that stuff so and then i picked up another lip i recently was going through a ton of my makeup about six months ago and i realized wow this stuff is really old i need to you know, unfortunately, and it needs to go. It's expired. So I've just been trying to build up my lipstick collection again. This is a Superstay Ink Crayon by Maybelline. And then this is the color. I love anything that has that pinky... Pinks and peach colors. Sometimes a brown. It has to be a very specific color for my, for my skin tone because so many things can i never swipe correctly wow it goes on like butter like the pigmentation on this is actually insane just to show you guys what that looks like it has a nice precise line too so you could probably use this as a lip liner as well and then you could put like your lipsticks and stuff on top this color is called what is it called lead oh no yeah lead the way why did that take me a minute? And then I picked up something that I haven't picked up in a really long time, and it's an eyeshadow that's a standalone. Um, cream to powder shadow, that's interesting. And this is called Spark Metallic. I love anything that has a champagne look to it. Um, I have hazel eyes, so typically anything that has like a reddy, reddish, orange, brown makes uh, green eyes, hazel eyes pop. So, I, did I say hazel? My eyes are actually green. But sometimes they can look, have that, that golden look to it. But this is what this looks like. Y'all, I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know the color my eyes are. This is super pretty. You can see that I'm, I swatched it right here. I love how subtle that looks, but it also has a touch of glitter to it too. And I've always wanted that in a shadow. All of my shadows in my pressed, you know, palettes, they're just flat or matte. And even with the ones that have that glittery look, I feel like it wouldn't have the same application per se, unless I did all the fancy you know like eye primers and stuff like that which i don't i don't i don't have time to do all that so i like that this has that immediate just it just has that glittery look to it and that sheen too so i think this will just be a nice easy application for me all right guys that's it for today's walmart haul i hope that you enjoyed comment down below and let me know what from this haul uh are you going to be on the lookout for at walmart is it at the tops 
the workout stuff, the shoes, the candles, but you already know that this hat is my favorite thing from this entire haul. So anyways, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.